Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, what's up? My name is Aaliyah, or just Leah for short. And today we're gonna to be starting a new series on my channel called Aaliyah's Favorites, or monthly favorites, things I've been enjoying each month. We're still fleshing out the title. A lot can happen in a month, a lot of new discoveries, a lot of new findings, a lot of new favorites. So I wanted to take this time and take this space to kind of discuss those things I've been loving throughout the month. I remember growing up watching a lot of Bethany Moda and a lot of Michelle Phan and just really enjoying their sort of monthly recaps about beauty products that they really enjoyed. So I thought, why not do the same now that I have my own channel and my own kind of opinions on stuff, I guess. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Remember to go on ahead and like the video if you enjoy content like this. Be sure to comment maybe some of your own monthly favorites or monthly non-favorites um, below. I would like to kind of hear them both. And subscribe to catch the next one. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I have my notes here. I've been kind of jotting down some things I've been liking. Kind of remember some stuff I've been really enjoying throughout this month. So I broke my favorites up into five categories. And in no particular order, we have makeup and skincare. We have TV and anime that I've been liking. We have music and songs, foods that I've been enjoying, as well as books that I've been reading or that I've been listening to. So those are gonna be the five that we're gonna start off with. As the months go on, I might adjust the categories, I might change some things, add some things. It's the pilot episode in a way, so it's, a, it's room for improvement. To start us off with the health and beauty, skincare and beauty section, I have been prioritizing my skincare this year, my makeup game this year, and I've been trying to discover new products that help me to maintain the progress that I've made. So I have been able to find a couple of products that has really helped me along that journey. Here is the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence by Core 6, if I'm saying that correctly. It's basically a Korean skincare line. If you know anything about Korean skincare, it seems like they invented skincare products. They have some of the best skincare products. They have some of the most effective ones I found in my opinion. Even when you look at some pictures of like K-pop idols or just people from that region, when you see how their skin looks, I know they still have flaws, they still have pores and pimples and things like that, normal stuff that we all have, but their skin just looks flawless every time, looks amazing every time. And ever since I've been using this, I've noticed the biggest improvement in my skin. When I wake up, my skin is not dry. It feels like all the moisture is still stuck into my skin. It's super smooth, like super smooth. And the only thing I can attribute it to is my use of this. So 10 out of 10 recommend. They have a lot of other products, but to start off, I just kind of use this one. And do not be, get put off by the snail aspect of it. Um, it works wonders, so highly recommend this one. The second product on this list is going to be the Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear 30 Hour Foundation. I have been wanting a nice foundation for a long time now. Usually I'll just use like a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer, but I wanted something a little more heavier that wasn't gonna fade throughout the whole day. And I found that after using this, this stuff is extremely amazing. So it goes on really smooth. It does have a matte finish, which I do like. I really don't prefer the really shiny foundations unless I'm doing, like I said, a tinted moisturizer in which I don't really care if it's too shiny. I kind of like it to look that way with that. But for this, I needed something that I can rely on that lasted throughout the whole day, that was not gonna smudge or do anything. And this one is the one that I found that does just a trick. I actually have it on right now. It's super smooth, it's super matte. Honestly, it looks like my skin. Like it looks just like my skin. I have no complaints, it doesn't feel caked down, it still feels lightweight. Even actually, I wore it to an anime convention. So when I went to MegaCon, I wore this one because it was like the first time I really wore it out all day that I got to see how long it lasted. I wore it to MegaCon, I got ready at like seven in the morning, put this on, went the whole day to the convention, 11 to 7 p.m. Afterwards, went to Universal for about five hours or so. And throughout the whole night, it didn't smudge, didn't come off, still looked the same. I didn't have to touch it up at all. And I was pretty satisfied, so 10 out of 10. Highly recommend this one. Highly recommend you guys give it a try. And if you kind of have my same skin complexion, I use the 360 Mocha for all of Maybelline's products. I use 360. The color is usually pretty consistent throughout all of the, their products for me. So 360, if you were curious, Mocha. 
look. That's all for the makeup and beauty category for this month. The next one I want to kind of touch on is the TV and anime category. There have been two anime that I have been watching this month specifically. One is going to be One Piece. One Piece is a new revelation for me. I started watching the live action in last December. I kind of talked about this in my last day in life video. I was talking about my whole discovery of One Piece, how I kind of stepped into the rabbit hole and then like fell all the way down into it. But I started watching the live action in December. Started watching it around mid-January as I was getting ready for the convention. And now it's just part of my daily or weekly routine to kind of turn it on, have it on in the background, sit down. It's become a comfort anime for me in a way. So definitely that has been one of the top anime that I've been watching this month. The second anime that I've been watching is Solo Leveling. You've probably heard a lot of good things about it. I know I definitely heard a lot of good things about it. I originally saw the trailer on Crunchyroll. I know it used to be a webtoon, but I saw the trailer on Crunchyroll. And ever since then, my brother, my brother and I began watching it. And it's been so cool. Like it's been so interesting to watch. The concept is really cool. The introduction is really cool. I had no idea that TXT made the intro song for it, so that was really nice to discover. Super catchy. I think if you are a gamer, especially if you're into like, um, I want to. I don't really know specifically the type of game style it is. Just the kind where like you're adventuring and leveling up and upgrading and doing like dungeons and exploring if you like games like that then you will really enjoy solo leveling there's a lot of references and kind of concepts there that you can probably relate to especially if you're involved in that world but even if you aren't i think it's just a cool kind of shonen adventure i guess kind of anime that's come out recently that's been really fun it's been really fun to watch so at this point i think it's like about episode eight so we are pretty caught up and I just, no complaints so far. It's been a really, really solid anime. So the third one I wanted to touch on is foods. It's a little different for me. This month of February, I was actually on a 21 day liquid diet. So I wasn't really consuming a lot considering my diet ran from, well like diet fast. It ran from February the 5th to the 26th. So a good chunk of my February was consisted of just liquids and broths and juice um tea water coffee stuff like that however during this fast there were a couple of favorite liquid foods or drinks that i've been enjoying one of which is fresh juices so these are going to be like celery juice carrot juice cranberry juice things like that i bought a juicer so i've been really enjoying making a bunch of these juices from scratch it's been helping me to feel really invigorated in the morning and just throughout my day. And it's something that although I started this month that I've really been loving, it's becoming more of a lifestyle thing, which I've been really enjoying, which I'm really excited for. If I don't put them on the screen, I will put them below. Just some of my favorite juices I've been making. Like, I guess my favorite go-to is like a green juice. I do celery, cucumber, um, green apple, spinach, ginger, lemon and did i say green apple i don't remember green apple i guess and pineapple juice so i've been putting it together it's so tasty you can kind of play around with the um measurements of each but it's super 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 tasty uh the carrot juice is fairly simple it's only carrots and i'll use like a bag of tangerines maybe a grapefruit but grapefruit is like hit or miss it's a little strong of a taste so sometimes i put it in sometimes i don't another favorite of mine is kombucha i have rediscovered my love for kombucha not only because it's delicious and has all these health benefits that google can tell you more about than a mere drinker of the thing but it's been really good for me it's been helping just like cut the i want to say even cut the craving of wanting to eat when i have kombucha maybe it has something to do with how it is or how like it um works with your stomach it just doesn't really make me crave as much and as i was fasting i didn't crave as much as i was drinking um kombucha yeah it's empty now but this is the one that i have been using so it's the trilogy flavor super tasty organically produced so i've been enjoying this this is the second bottle i went through it's fairly big i got it for like 7.99 or 5.99 so it was a great price as well let me take a sip of my coffee now so Speaking of coffee, another favorite of mine has been the Khalifa Almond Milk Creamer. Super tasty. 
super super nice dairy free um, not too too much sugar in it I mean I don't use too much so it's not that much sugar but I basically discovered this because of inflation and stuff being way too expensive I normally am a nut pods girly like I, I tend to just get the nut pods flavor mainly because it has no sugar in it and it's like ultra creamy however I just I just couldn't get around paying like six dollars for it like I went in there and I looked at the price tag and I'm just like six dollars for creamer why why then I looked up and these were buy two for seven dollars so I was like I'll try it I'll try anything once it was actually pretty tasty so it's like my fourth bottle I drink I drink coffee a lot and I put it inside of tea so it's like my fourth bottle that I've gone through but it's pretty solid um, it's not too sweet it's like the perfect type of creamer I think you can mix with anything so nice I give it like a solid like 8 out of 10 um, as far as creamers go and then the last thing so these were another item that was on sale I still was on a fast when I got these but I just figured hey I'm eventually not gonna be on this fast and I'm gonna need healthier snacks without kind of feeling bad having like the guilt and I discovered these heavenly snacks so delicious they're basically the popcorners cinnamon crunch they are so 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 tasty imagine cinnamon toast crunch but without all the extra sugar and without all the guilt like it's so tasty they're so light they're so fluffy they're so buttery um my bag is empty they're so tasty there's only crumbs left in the bag so if that doesn't tell you how much i like them i don't know what else does so good so this next category is going to be the music and songs category more specifically music since i have been in this kind of mode of changing my music genre long story short a lot of the music and a lot of the lyrics and stuff in some of these songs is not always the best it's a little vulgar sometimes some messaging and stuff that i just kind of didn't want to keep hearing all the time even though the beats are catchy i'm like it's really worth it if the language that is being said and that I'm repeating is like derogatory, stuff like that. So I've been on a kind of mission to find better music, more calm music that I can enjoy. And I stumbled across, I don't really know the, the correct classification of the music, but I've been into like this late 70s, early 80s, just groovy beats just stuff that you can just put on the background that everybody knows almost like 80s city pop but like 80s city america i don't know i have a couple of songs i use spotify for all of my music for the most part and maybe you guys know what the category would technically be i just have it under like groovy relaxing mix i have basically the Sun by Mid, I have Everybody Wants to Rule the World by T Tears for Fears, More Than a Woman by BGs, I have Greek Tragedy, Walking on a Dream by Empire of the Sun, Half Mass by Empire of the Sun, Mr. Brightside. I have like that type of genre of music. It's just been really cool. Like it's just nice to kind of turn on something, groove to it, like not have all this extra stuff in the background and don't get me wrong like i love some of my rap music i love some of like my my, my r&b hip-hop music but some of it i was just sitting there listening to the lyrics and almost like having to pause it like what am i putting like into my ears basically so really i've been enjoying this kind of rebranding of my music genre so along with this kind of groovy mix there have been some specific songs i've been enjoying we have monica why i love you so much girl next door by tyla with our ira star i hope i'm saying her name right best time by brent feyaz i have purple rain thing by toby ingue i really don't think that's how you say his name goodie bag by still woozy and greek tragedy by the wombats however it is the tiktok remix i like it a little more than the original sue me okay sue me my favorite thing is just to especially on spotify here just kind of clicking on one song and letting like the radio aspect kind of play just have it recommend me stuff and just listen to it in my ears like a radio station as opposed to saving every play every song to my playlist so that's been pretty enjoyable wow these are actually going by pretty quickly uh we're on the last category already yay 
So the final category is the books category. I haven't had any physical books recently, but I have discovered an audiobook actually that has been really helpful during this part of my life, especially during my fast where a lot of it involved kind of prayer and looking within and just kind of quieting outside voices and outside forces and just figure out the direction I wanted to take my life into. As I was kind of going throughout this, I got recommended by my mom actually, As a Man Thinketh by James Allen. I'm sure you guys have heard about it, maybe haven't heard about it. It's very short. Of the audiobooks I've listened to, it's on the shorter side. It's like an hour, 40 minutes. I can try to link the one that I personally um, listen to, but it has been super transformative for me, super powerful. I wouldn't say that it, that it discusses things I'm not already privy to as far as the whole manifesting a new life for yourself, adjusting how you view yourself, how you view events in your life, how you respond to things, presented and repackaged in a different way that was really easily digestible for me. That was, came at the perfect time, it seemed, when I was kind of craving that kind of reminder, this sort of idea of where do I begin? How do I transform? How do I change? All these sorts of things. And it was just a perfect book for that. It's really, like I said, you can throw it on in the morning, listen to it in little bouts. I have so many audiobooks that I love that I can recommend you guys. But the one that I just have been repeating this month has been this one. As I'm in Gift by James Allen. 10 out of 10. Beautiful book. I'm definitely gonna buy it for myself so I can make my own personal annotations, but amazing book. 11 out of 10 actually. It's a beautiful book. It's a beautiful read. So yeah. That has been my favorites for the month, or Aaliyah's favorites for the month. We're gonna have to find a catchy little title for it. If you have any ideas for it, definitely comment them down below. I'm gonna be brainstorming as well, but if you have any other ideas, feel free. I'm open and I'm ready to receive, so feel free. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun making this. I'm really excited to make them throughout the month just because like I said, I grew up watching videos like this. I'm also just excited to have this kind of up to reflect on as I grow and, and get older and progress just to look at what I was into around this time and just what I was interested in. So it's kind of exciting for me. So I'm definitely looking forward to more of these type of videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been such a great time. If you're a newbie, welcome to the party. Welcome to the family haven't we're still new basically you know it's only been a year a year running so you're not too late you're not too late you still hop on um their wagon and, and hang out with us during this journey go on ahead and subscribe to catch the next video go ahead and thumbs up the video i have some other contents that i made other days in my life that you guys can kind of binge and watch in the meantime and uh yeah this has been me uh you have been you and I will catch you guys in the next video, so.